Hello everyone, today we're gonna take a look about the brand new GM Max GM 3500 IAED generator and in my opinion, the best 3500 generator you can get on the market right now. Let's take a look. Okay, here is the panel. Here is the intake, air intake. Parallel kit ready. Two USBs, reset button, 30 amp plug. Regular 120 GFI plugs. This is, a, I believe it's a 20 amp reset button. Low idle, push start, and the digital display that also have a gasoline fuel meter that is really cool okay on this side you have the remote remote start with a remote it's a 3500 watt 3200 watt running on propane is 3100 and 2800 watt running on this side we have the battery the oil uh, fill and it's going to use a 10w30 and the air filter on the back, this is how it looks on the back. Warning signs. On the other side, CO, carbon monoxide um, sensor. We have a label here that is for the oil. Here is the switch. You select between gas, propane, a neutral, this is really good because you put it right here and you can burn the fuel um, on the, in the carburetor uh, before you store your, your generator. Here is the propane plug. Comes with a handle, very convenient. Let me see if I can get it out. There you go, handle. Easy to move, and it's only 56 pounds, I believe. So it's, it's, it's easy to carry if you grab it by the handle. Here are all the safety warnings and instructions. And here are more details about the generator. Easy to open, you only unscrew this knob here and you pop this side. Here you have the carburetor on the back, battery. Here are the cables for the battery. Here there is a 60 amp um, fuse, put it there, battery. Here is the connection of the battery, and you gotta connect this to the battery. Push it in, there you go, and then you put it back. Oil, put some oil, you're gonna use the funnel or any other funnel, but this one comes with threads on the, on the tip, so you can screw it in. Put the plug back. Let's, let's put some gas in it. Remember, every time you put gas in the generator, put some uh, gasoline stabilizer. That's recommended. Okay, we are ready for the first start. Let's uh, move the oil and the gas uh, uh, first.
Okay, here we go. Okay everyone, here is the brand new GenMax GM3500 IAED generator. In my opinion, the best 3500 generator you can get on the market right now. Dual fuel, very light, very convenient. Comes with the holes for the liquid propane and comes with a spark plug removal and a screwdriver. A screwdriver is to remove a screw right here where you select the fuel so you can remove all this cover. Now, I said the best 3500 generator you can get on the market right now. But why I said that? Let's go to the computer and I will show you a comparison between the GenMax GM3500 IA EV and alternative or comparable to this generator and you will see why. Let's take a look. I made this spreadsheet to demonstrate why in my opinion the GenMax EM3500 IAED is the best 3500 on the market right now uh, when you compare to um, other generators. For example, I'm comparing to Predator, Duramax, Honda and Champion. You will see two Duramax because Duramax don't have any 3500, so these two are the closest. Um, and Champion, the same. No 3500, these two are the closest. This one apparently is out of stock. And you will see this symbol, like an Apple symbol, and those are the, what I consider the closest to the Gem Max in terms of watts, okay? Dual fuel, let's start with that. You will see the Gem Max have uh, dual fuel, yes. Predator, no. Duramax, yes, yes, Honda, no, Champion, yes, yes. Okay, the price, very important. Um, at this moment, it's 899 with 99, the Gen Max. The Predator is 929 with 99. The Duramax is 4,500 watts. Remember that, it's more expensive because I have more watts, but it's 1,499. The 2,300 from Duramax is 700. The Honda is 2,999, Champion 1,199, and 1,049. When you go to um, watts, here is 3,500, 3,500, 4,500, 2,300, 3,200, 4,650, and 3,400. Fuel tank, you have 1.7 gallons, 2.3 gallons, 2.64 gallons, 1.1. 1.2, 2.3, and 1.6. Here's where you start saying, oh, wait a minute. This one is 2.64, the, the Duramax. You have a, the fuel tank is, is bigger, yes, but remember, this costs $1,500, and on top of that is $4,500, so it's out of the league compared to the $3,500. And the engine is 223 cc, so it's a bigger engine. It's going to consume more fuel. Then you have the Predator. The Predator is 2.3 gallons. It's still bigger than 1.7, yes, but the same thing. 
the engine is 2.12 cc's versus 145 so it's going to consume more fuel and on top of that it's not dual fuel it's only gas and it costs more 929 dollars then we go to the height the height is 19.7 20 22 20 17 20 and 18. length is 20 22 19 22 22 23 25 with 12 17 24 14 12 17 and 17 and now when we go to the weight it's 56.2 pounds the gem max the predator is 102 pounds the duro max is 115 this one is 53 less than the duro max but it's only 2300 uh, watts this one is 59 close to the gem max but it's not dual fuel and it's 3200 and it's three thousand dollars this one is 103 pounds this one is a 95 pounds so you see now how the gem max being a dual fuel generator at 899 dollars with a 56 pound only start to chime starting system you have a recoil you have electric star you have a remote star the predator only have a recoil and electric star this one have a recoil electric star and remote but it's the 4500 and it's 1500 dollars this one only recoil 2300 the honda only recoil the champion recoil electric star and the other champion recoil electric star you see the gem max have, has a recoil electric star and also a remote now the thd or the total harmonic distortion the gem max have a less than three percent the others i couldn't find any information but i'm pretty sure it's less than six or five percent so i'm not to worry about that runtime at 25 percent with gas the gem max is nine hours the predator is 11 hours that's what they claim the engine is bigger remember and it's 929 dollars 29 dollars this one is 16 hours but it's 1500 dollars and it's for 4500 so it's out of the lead this one is 13 hours it's 2300 700 dollars you're still missing some watts there this one is 8.6 that's the honda it's really expensive the 14 hours uh champion is 4650 watts but it's 1200 dollars and this one is 7.7 .7 hours that is very close to 3500 it's only 3400 but it's 1050 dollars gem max oh man gas running amperage gas running amperage at 120 volt this one is running 26.5 seven with a maximum of 29.2 and now you can compare 25 30 15 21 30 and 25. noise at 25 percent low is 62 56 and you can say well the predator is, is quieter yeah it is not but that by that much but it's quieter but remember it's 929 and it's only gas it's not um dual fuel this one is out of the lee so it's 4500 watts 52 that is lower than 62 from gem max but it's only 2300 this one is 54 um but it's three thousand dollars this one is 61 dv and it's out of the lee it's 1200 dollars and it's 4650 um watts and you will say yeah it's one db less than the gem max the gem max is only 900 dollars um the last champion is 59 dbs it is 1050 dollars then we have here what about if you buy two units to put it in parallel kit you know the gem max will be 1799 with 98 cents two units will give you 7,000 watts 
maximum and 6,200 watts running. The Predator is going to be more expensive at $1,859 and will give you the same, but it's more expensive, not dual fuel. This Duramax, more expensive, you get more watts, but it's a lot more expensive. Um, the other Duramax, you still short with 4,600 watts at $1,398. It's cheaper than the Gen Max, but you're losing a lot of watts. Here we have the Honda, almost $6,000. You still short from the 7,000 watts that, the, that you can get with the Gen Max. And here you have the two champions, more expensive than the Gen Max. And this one, you go over the 7,000 just because it's out of the league, it's a 4,650. Now the comparable, that is the second one, the 3,400, you still short 6,800 watts and you gotta spend $2,099. Warranty, one unit is one year with the extended warranty at $105. That is uh, a total amount of $1,005 with 98 cents. That is a four year warranty for one unit at $1,005 with 98 cents. Now the most controversial thing, people said, those are uh, generators are made in China. Do you know what? Um, Almost everything comes from China, to be honest. Uh, I bet that the iPhone that you have in your hands, you love it, was made in China. The Android phone that you have in your hands right now, probably watching this video, you love it, made in China. But I did the research anyway. The Gen Max is made in China. The Predator is made in China. The Duramax, they claim that it's made in US, but no. Duramax is a company founded in the United States and its base of operation is still here, Ontario, California. Is there is the location of their main headquarters, but most of their parts and design occurs in factories in China. So it's also made in China. You know, the Honda is Japan, Ch uh, China, and United States champion is United States, and so the champion generator are made and designed in America, but their engine gets product, produced in China. Like many other brand champion will say, they will undergo production in America, but this is not completely true. So all this company bring their engines and parts from China and also manufacture in China equally. So, I don't see what is the problem with that. Anyway, here is my uh, spreadsheet that I put together so you can take a look and you can compare yourself which one you think is better. In my opinion, the Gen Max 3500i AED dual fuel is the best option right now on the market for a 3500 generator. If you like this information, please give me a thumbs up, subscribe, if you want to get this generator, I'm going to be leaving a link in the description below. Also, if you have any question about the generator or anything else, leave me a comment. I love to interact with you guys because make me feel that I'm not just alone here making YouTube videos. Uh, I like to have a conversation with, with you guys. Okay, so thank you for watching and see you in the next video. Bye.